guys, so today's video is going to be my July favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in so long. I can't remember the last time I did one, to be totally honest. I would have to go check on my channel. Um, but the reason being is the beginning of the month or the end of the month just snuck up on me. And by the time I was able to get my shit together and sit down and film, it was like halfway through the month. So... It's just been a really crazy busy summer, you know, as everybody's has, so it hasn't worked out, but I'm excited for this month because I actually have a lot of stuff to share with you. There's even more. Um, it was hard to narrow it down, so definitely follow me on my Instagram page, um, at Megan McTagger. I'll leave my tag here or handle or whatever you want to call it um, because I post a lot of my favorite things throughout the month so if you're curious and you like products and you like you know making your shopping list definitely check there um, but I kind of tried to narrow it down here just because it's been so long and I don't want this to be a 20 minute video da, 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 da. you know the drill I have a little bit of everything a couple hair care products a little bit of skincare mostly makeup some tools that sort of thing so kind of all across the board here so I'm just going to start off with my Luxie 12 piece brush set that is really overexposed it's light pink but it looks white and it's making my skin look yellow see back to normal Anyway, it's an awesome synthetic brush set, and it comes in this little leather or faux leather, I'm not sure. Um, I'll leave the link for the product down below. Um, carrying case, travel case, which is super nice, but it's nice because you can take the top off and just set this on your vanity, and your brushes are all contained. I love these brushes for so many reasons, but to be totally honest, the first thing that caught my attention was just how pretty they are. Let me grab the biggest one to kind of show you. Um, the colors so the handle is like this light pink kind of lacquered wooden handle and then you've got like a dark rose gold um, ferrule and then they're all synthetic as I said before and they're so soft I mean that's like brush porn status so I've been loving these they've been performing really really well for me um, I will leave a link for them down below along with the discount code because they were something that was sent to me um, but I've had them for a while now. Anyways, let me just show you guys a few of my favorites. The first one um, is definitely the pencil brush. Let's see, the Luxie 217 pencil. I love this one because it is so soft and it really helps you kind of smudge out your lower lash line um, or apply color precisely into your crease. Well, I can say that precisely into your crease. I'm obsessed with this one and it doesn't scratch your eyeballs out which is really important. Next is the 508 Large Duo Fiber. I love this one for stippling on foundation. It's really large however so to get in between your brows if you already have your brows on if you are a foundation last type of person you might need um, a smaller one for right here. This is the 504 Large Angle. I love this one for cream contouring. Do you see how soft that is? Oh my goodness. Um, I love this for cream contouring. It blends cream products out so well. I don't prefer this for powder products such as like blush and stuff like that. It's a little bit too dense for my preference. Um, but yeah, I love it for creams. Here is the 213 Shader Brush. This is just like the most perfect... Um, brush for packing on color in the lid. Um, it's amazing. It's pretty small, which is great for those of you who have small lid space. Um, and it's so soft. So since we we're just talking about brushes, I have a couple brush cleaning favorites. Um, I didn't plan this <laughs> that I want to talk to you guys about. And these aren't going to be new products for some of you, um, but they have changed the game for me. So for spot cleaning brushes, I used to use the MAC brush cleaner it's like a pink color um, and I used that for a really long time and with the recommendation of a friend I switched over to the Sephora brush cleaner and that one was pretty good as well but the issue with those is I would always have to spot clean and then wait for the brushes to dry it was always such a hassle to do that because I don't want to sit down to do my makeup, clean the brushes that I need, and then wait 20 minutes for them to dry so I can blend my eyeshadow and have it actually look nice. So I did some research and I came across Cinema Secrets 
brush cleaner as a recommendation for makeup artists. I've been using this for probably the past year now. I can't believe this is the first time that I've been talking about it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and it is so amazing because you just spray your brush once with this, roll around on a towel or a paper, paper towel or whatever you have by you. The brush is clean. It cleans amazingly well, better than anything else I've ever used in a spot cleaner, and it's dry. Now I'm talking your blending brushes are dry, everything. Your dense brushes are dry. It's bomb. It's pretty spendy. I get mine on Amazon just because they have two-day prime shipping, and generally when I run out, it's like, oh shit, I need more. You know, I use it for work. So um, that's where I get mine, but if you guys have any makeup supply stores near you, you can definitely find it there and avoid like shipping costs or the premium that Amazon does have on this product. So yeah, I'll link that down below for you guys if you are interested in that. You can get it from all sorts of places like Navy's and stuff like that. And I think actually Sephora carries it now, which is pretty good because then you can get your points. And just a little side note, I just keep mine in a little spray bottle that I got at Target. Works really well. If I don't feel like I need to really kind of deep clean my brush with my brush cleaner, especially because it's expensive and I'm cheap. I love using my Viramona Color Switch Solo. It comes in a little tin and what it is, it's this weird little black plasticky sponge. Let me zoom in on it for you. So all you do is you swirl your brush around on this little spongy deal and it removes the color. What? Here, let me show you. I'm going to grab a brush. I have a MAC 217 and I'm going to take kind of a darker brown eyeshadow, pack that all over my brush, nice and dirty, and you just swirl it around. And it takes a little bit to remove the color, but as you can see, it's already taking it right off. It won't be totally spotless, but you won't end up with, you know, a bunch of black eyeshadow all over lit your lid um, by accident because you didn't clean your brush well enough. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you guys ever do that? Isn't that annoying? That's why I love white bristled brushes. <laughs> So that is bomb. I keep that right on my vanity. And the coolest thing about the Veramona color switch is that I have one for you guys. If you guys want to try one of these for yourselves, for yourselves, if you guys want to try one of these out for yourselves, just leave me a comment down below and you'll be entered in the giveaway in a week. I'll DM you, whoever the winner is, and I'll send you your own. And I'm actually giving you guys the color switch duo, which is really cool. Here, let me show you. This one has a little white sponge in the center that you soak with water and then you touch your brush to it and then into your eyeshadow for wet eyeshadow application, which is really cool. Okay, now I want to talk to you guys about lashes. There are a few styles that I've been wearing kind of non-stop um, over the past few months, I would say. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably like, yeah, we already know what you're going to say, Megan. But the first pair I'm wearing now, which is totally poor planning, by the way, but they are the Lily Lashes. This is the box. They're on my eyes. Pre-stacked 3D pink lashes in the style Mykonos. They have the name on the back. I love these. They're so fluffy and three-dimensional and curly and amazing. If you guys are into mink lashes, if you wear mink lashes, definitely check out her new pre-stacked line. They're to die for. If you don't wear mink lashes, I have something for you as well. The first pair are the Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. Um, if you're an Instagram beauty blogger follower, you've probably seen these non-stop. Let me do a close-up. I love these because they're the perfect kind of mix of drama plus wispiness. They literally, you can't go wrong wearing these lashes. They go with literally every look and they look good on so many different eye shapes. I'm obsessed with them and they're so comfortable to wear. The only con is their price. I purchased them by myself and they run $20 a pair and they ship from Dubai. So shipping costs are kind of spendy. 
um, which is unfortunate. So, um, but I know on her website, if you make a purchase of $75 or more, then you get free shipping. So, um, as long as you're willing to get a few pairs or her press on nails are awesome, um, then it's kind of worth it but just for one pair to me it's just really not especially for a synthetic pair of lashes but what i will say is i wear synthetics as much as i wear makes like i will wear them 30 times i'm not even kidding you <laughs> um i'm just really careful with them i clean them every once in a while um and i try oh traffic and i try to keep them nice and not wonky because i don't like to buy them all the time the next lashes I have are so good. I feel like I've tell, told you guys about these before, but they are the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. Um, this is my last pair and they're a little bit, they're not cleaned, but I will give you a close up. So here are the lashes. I mean, seriously, they are so gorgeous. They're dramatic, they're spiky, they are girly, they're sexy. I just love these lashes so freaking much I can't even handle it and you can get them at Target which is awesome although um, definitely check online to see if they have them in stock at your Target because they sell out all the time they keep restocking them but ugh, they're always out of stock next is a foundation and I'm going to do a review for this for you guys um, it's amazing I mean, it's so good. Elsie Foundation, um, made by Makeup by Lilit on Instagram. She's a professional makeup artist. Um, I've been following her forever. Um, and this came out, I want to say it's like over a year ago, but I could be making that up. Ugh. I heard Jaclyn Hill, of course, talking about it in um, last month's favorite vid favorites video. And it reminded me that I needed to try it. Especially because I hadn't really heard too many people talking about it except for um, my friend Stephanie at Babs Beauty I remembered had told me that she loved it too so it was a combination of both of them telling me that I needed it I bought it and it's so so good it's a nice matte finish and it really looks like skin to me I'm obsessed with it this is gonna be a long video I'm sorry so next I have the Exuvian's Triple Microdermabrasion Face Polish. This is an exfoliating treatment that clarifies and refines texture. My lights are so bright. Can you see it? This is a skincare line that they sell at Ulta. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it at Sephora or not, but to be totally honest, I don't shop Sephora skincare a lot. I don't know why. I'm just like eyeshadow. But as usual, I'll link it down below. Um, this product is an exfoliator that's kind of like a mix of a physical and chemical exfoliator in one. What you do is you take a little bit out. Um, well, more than that. I just wanted to show you the texture. It's just like a creamy um, texture. And you can feel a little bit of exfoliating beads in it. Well, they're actually professional grade crystals, as my packaging tells me. So what you do is you massage it into your skin for about 30 seconds and it says not to rub so just very lightly massage it into your skin and you let it sit for up to two minutes um, and that's where the sort of chemical exfoliation comes in um, I love it I love using it in the shower and once I rinse it off my skin feels just so smooth and just rejuvenated I guess it feels clean it smells really good it I can't place like the exact scent but to me it's just like Bath and Body Works like that's the scent it's Bath and Body Works scent I don't know <laughs> I'll just read a little blurb from the back because it can explain to you what it does better than I can feel this potent exfoliator working as papaya enzyme and glycolic acid plus professional microdermabrasion crystals used by dermatologists help rejuvenate and resurface the skin it helps dissolve impurities that can contribute to congested pores and loosen dead skin cells and dull dry patches i love traffic outside polishing skin to a gorgeous silky softness and glow. With consistent exfoliation, skin will be clearer and brighter with reduced appearance of pores and dark spots. I love this stuff. It's a little bit pricey, but I've had it for a few weeks and it's like full. 
So I definitely recommend it. I feel like it has kind of contributed to um, the clarity of my skin along with how radiant it seems um, with or without makeup. I feel like even my makeup looks better now. So, and that has been kind of one of the only things that I've changed with my skincare to be totally honest besides very, very recently. So love that. Next, I have the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. <laughs> I am obsessed with this primer. I have told you guys about this before, like in comments when you guys ask me, what should I use if my skin's oily? What kind of primer? What kind of foundation? And I always recommend this primer to you guys, but I've never put it in a favorites video. I don't know where my head has been. This primer, you literally need like the tiniest tiniest amount for your whole entire face if you use too much um, and get a little bit too heavy-handed it will start to pill up and your foundation will not sit very well over it however if you are oily if you get oily throughout the day in your t-zone or anywhere that you get oily if you put this primer in those areas it will significantly reduce the shine factor. Your skin will look smoother and your foundation will last longer, I promise you. Try it out. It's at Sephora. That's where you can purchase Becca products. I do know that if you don't want to purchase the full size right away, they do have a sample or a travel size um, in that little travel size section right as you're going in line. They get me every time. One more makeup product. Okay, this is the Sigma Powder Blush in Heavenly. I can't get it open. This is what the packaging looks like here. It has their little kind of holographic logo over the front, but it has like a clear plastic top so you can see the color, which I really like. Um, and it's just the perfect kind of everyday nude color. It's a little bit peachy, a little bit dusty pink. Um, it's really, really beautiful for light to medium skin. It's one of those colors you can really wear any day. You can wear it when you have a really dramatic eye look. You can wear it with a bold lip. You can wear it on a no makeup makeup day. It just always looks beautiful. I love the formula of the Sigma blushes. I feel like they last a really long time. And as usual, I do have a discount code for Sigma down below. Um, so definitely check that out. Okay, last but not least, definitely not least, this is a new favorite for me. I did not know that I had two Lushes right nearby my house. I am brand new to the Lush bandwagon. <laughs> um, I, I had no idea. I was walking to Mall of America the other day with my friend and I saw it and I was like, oh, damn. I went in and I was talking to some of the staff members, which they were so amazing and sweet. Um, and they kind of showed me around and showed me the different products. I'd never really paid attention when people talked about Lush um, in their hauls or favorites or whatever. I don't know, it just never really appealed to me. But when I went in the store and started trying some of the stuff, I was like, <gasps> yes. So anyway, my most favorite thing currently is the R&B Hair Moisturizer. It says, moisturize, embrace, revive, and balance your curls. I don't have curls, but I do have dry hair. Well, my hair's wavy. It's not curly. Since bleaching my hair, it is dry. This is what it looks like. It's a big, pretty big tub. And I'm always looking for something to kind of re-moisturize my hair throughout the day, especially because I wash my hair once a week. Like, no joke, I wash my hair once a week. And as the week goes on, my ends start to really dry out. And this product literally makes my, my, my skin, my hair feel so freaking soft. Like, I'm not even joking you. I just can't even deal with how amazing this product is. It was a little bit pricey, of course, some of their stuff is, but this is something that you need a very small amount, um, so it will last you a long time, so it's worth it to me. Let's see, I don't see the price on here, but I feel like it was tw like $21 or something like that, so it's definitely a higher price point, but for some of the Lush items, I think that it's worth it. Again, that's the R&B Hair Moisturizer. All right, we made it. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. 
um, and letting me share all of my favorite things for the past month or a couple months for a lot of them because I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'll try to keep up on it, but my schedule is so crazy. It's hard for me um, to do anything in that sort of fashion. So we'll see, but definitely follow my Instagram page. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys and I will keep, I keep you posted with favorite makeup products and stuff there. Um, I pretty much post every day. So check that out subscribe to my channel if you aren't a subscriber already if you're new hey girl hey give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and extremely long <laughs> thanks again for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you next time bye i can't find my way back to you until you make amends with the demons you've been through And I can't regret leaving you alone